true crime cases would you like my opinion on? Because there's a couple of big ones that I have some very strong ideas on. And yeah, I haven't spoken about them on my channel. So, first one is, I'm going to make a video about Dali Rautia. And it's going to be a little controversial. Likewise with the Ramses. It's going to be a little controversial. In the case of Darren and Dali Rautia, you know, do I think Darren might be a little bit Chris Watsy? Ah, uh, yeah, I do. In the case of the Ramses, do I think that Mrs. Patsy Ramsey was any sort of uh, nurturing mother? No, I don't. So my views will probably be quite divisive, but I thought I might just do a few chats on it. I like to do these comparison videos. Uh, so, you know, I used to do them where I'd say, okay, let's look at, um, what's going on there? I've got to go to work, so I've got my, uh, let's look at, you know, Charles Manson and Chad Day Bell juxtaposed, you know, let's look at some similarities. Let's look at some similarities between Chad Day Bell and, um, you know, David Icke, for example. Uh, so, you know, let's look at some similarities between Darren and Chris. And as far as the Ramses, this is, uh, this is a case that I've wanted to talk to you about for about a year, ever since I started my channel. But, you know, other um, cases exploded, and that is mainly... Yeah, Laurie Cox and Chad Daybell mainly, and so I've got quite the playlist on them, and uh, there's a lot going on with them, I guess, um, to do with the court case and the charges being made, and you've got the Mark Means, Rob Wood scenario. Um, happening but you know there's enough people that are quite knowledgeable knowledgeable about the court system etc who are talking about that I mean I'm not really interested in that aspect of it I guess um, I still since I stand by with with particular um, regard to Chad and Laurie I, I do stand by my folie deux uh, because even though we know that Laurie has always been damaged, she's always committed crimes against her husbands and her children of um, disrespect, of, you know, of abuse, emotional abuse, maybe physical, um, and definitely, you know, abusing the legal system just to, to cause havoc in people's lives. Uh, we, we know that Laurie is severely damaged, but she's just the perfect severely damaged person to come along and um, to hook into Chad Daybell's really pathetic, dangerous beliefs. Um, remember, he's just all about serving self and... When it comes to the denouement, when it comes to the final tragic outcomes, um, you know, the death of Tylee and, and JJ, the deaths of, of Laurie's younger children, you know, this is down to Chad and how he has been able to infect people with his delusions um, Laurie was the perfect vessel for the light dark and 
those ideas of Chad's about her being a goddess, about, you know, being a leader. I mean, this just plays, per it's just like this perfect storm, isn't it? And, you know, I believe it is folly a deux with him being the imposer and her the acceptor. And it doesn't um, mean that she is not 100% guilty. I don't mean that at all. Um, but anywho, yeah, so if there's anything else you want my opinion on, I don't know why you would, but, you know, um, I am going to talk about Dahlia Altia. I am going to talk about the Ramses. Um, I've spoken up quite strongly about the McCanns. You can see that in my playlist for Madeline McCann. You know, please watch James Bogart. You'll find them on YouTube. Watch the entire series. Commit some time to it. Um, obviously, there's other ways of getting information, and it's always good to get a rounded uh, education when it comes to these cases. But, you know, that is a really good start if you don't know uh, the true specifics. All right, well, I've got to go. I'll speak to you later.